Hey guys, this is Ryan Blair from Halo Inc. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a uh, print file for a wrap on a trailer. Um, so the artboard is currently set up to size. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a bleed. And uh, we're working with half size right now. And so what we are going to do is uh, we're going to add a three inches bleed all the way around. Um, so we're going to do a shift O for artboards, right? Then we're going to go to our width and we're going to uh, come up here and we're going to do plus three. That's going to add um, three inches to the top and three inches to the bottom because we're at half size. Um, we're going to come over to height and we're also going to do plus three. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this 48 and a half for the height and you'll see why in a second. Um, so next what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drag out our artwork to create the bleed. Let's do that. There's the stripe. And then here we've got the graphic. And um, sliding it over is not going to be a big deal for this. This one is just going to cut off a tiny bit of his arm, so it's really not an issue. Okay, um, so this looks good here. And now what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to be printing to 54 inch material and realistically uh, we're going to be using about 53 inches that's going to allow um, a half inch um, on either side for deviation and lamination um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle that's going to be 53 and uh, since it's half scale we're going to go ahead and divide that by two before we even create the shape and then in the height, we're going to do that 48 and a half, and that's going to give us the entire panel size. Uh, now I'd just like to pick a color that's not really in the design, like magenta. We'll start on the left, I'm sorry. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a one inch square. So in reality, working at half scale, it's just going to be 0.5. We're just going to go ahead and line it up to the right side of that panel there. And now what we want to do is we're going to have a one inch overlap so we need to make sure that we're snapping onto that one inch there and to make it easier we could even turn these to just the stroke so you could see it a little bit better so you could see that we have that one inch and um, what we don't want to do is have our panel going through a bunch of text uh, that's going to make it more difficult for our installers to install so these don't have to be 53 inch panels. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that one in and we'll go ahead and drag out our uh, one inch marker to the right. We'll come back over, grab this other panel that is 54 and we'll go ahead and we'll slide that over. So you can see that they're only aligning the stripe on this panel here. They're gonna have a little bit on this side but you know what, it's not gonna be a big issue. So now we'll just continue this down the line, like so, making sure that we're snapping to the left side of that one inch square, like so. And now this last panel is gonna be a smaller one and we don't need our one inch. So basically we just alt click and drag out another one. And then this one is going to go just to the end like so. And now we could go ahead and, actually we don't even need to delete those, we could just go ahead and leave those there. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, click on one of those shapes that we just made. We could select the same fill color and we'll just make it any color fill just so it's easier to see. Technically you don't need to do that step, but we're going to do it just because it'll make it easier. Okay, so now we have all of our shapes with a fill, and all we're going to do is we're going to click on the first one. We're working from rear to front, so on the driver's side, that'll be the rear. Artboards convert to artboard. Click on the next shape. Artboards convert to artboards. Next shape, object, artboards, convert to artboards. Next shape, object, artboards, convert to artboards. Next shape, object, artboards, convert to artboards. And what I did was I, I went over to a previous file that I tested this on and um, 
I grab the uh, the way that we name these files. So we could delete artboard number one because that's our overall file. So now we just copy and paste from the, the previous side, or if you didn't already do that, then you would go ahead and create this. But uh, we're gonna switch this to driver side panel one, select all, copy that, go to the next artboard. Oop. Paste that in like so. This will be panel two. And paste it in, panel three. Panel four, paste it in, panel five. Now that you have them all named and all laid out like so, we could just go ahead and do Control Alt E, and then this is gonna export for screens. We make sure that we're going to the correct folder, which would be this one here. And then um, what we're gonna make sure is that we're using PDF X4, which should be saved if you're using this properly. And you can see that we have all of our panels broken out perfectly. Export artboard. And you can see how quickly it's exporting all of our files. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up the folder once it's done, and you'll see that those are all in there. It also saved a JPEG proof. We could have turned that off, but it's our standard to do it, so I'm just gonna leave it on. It's not a big deal to have those files in there. And then what you could do after this is you could screenshot this screen showing all the panels, and then this can become our proof for install. And you can see how quickly we were able to, to export this truck file. Thanks for watching.